Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and I was right. We are starting our sixth review, so I'm very excited about that. So this is the introduction for the sixth review. For this review, we take but one idea each day and practice it as often as is possible. Besides the time you give, morning and evening, which should not be less than 15 minutes, and the hourly remembrances you make throughout the day, use the idea as often as you can between them. Each of these ideas alone would be sufficient for salvation, if it were learned truly. Each would be enough to give release to you and to the world from every form of bondage and invite the memory of God to come again. Doesn't that sound great? <laughs> With this in mind, we start our practicing in which we carefully review the thoughts the Holy Spirit has bestowed on us in our last 20 sessions. Each contains the whole curriculum, if understood, practiced, accepted, and applied to all the seeming happenings throughout the day. One is enough, but from that one, there must be no exceptions made. And so we need to use them all and let them blend as one, as each contributes to the whole we learn. These practice sessions, like our last review, are centered around a central theme with which we start and end each lesson. It is this. I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. The day begins and ends with this, and we repeat it every time the hour strikes, or we remember in between, we have a function that transcends the world we see. Beyond this, and a repetition of the special thought we practice for the day, no form of exercise is urged, except a deep relinquishment of everything that clutters up the mind and makes it deaf to reason, sanity, and simple truth. We will attempt to get beyond all words and special forms of practicing for this review. We will attempt this time to reach a quickened pace along a shorter path to the serenity and peace of God. We merely close our eyes and then forget all that we thought we knew and understood. For thus is freedom given us from all we did not know and failed to understand. There is but one exception to this lack of structuring. Permit no idle thought to go unchallenged. If you notice one, deny its hold and hasten to assure your mind that this is not what it would have. Then gently let the thought which you denied be given up in sure, quick exchange for the idea we practice for the day. When you are tempted, Hasten to proclaim your freedom from temptation as you say, this thought I do not want. I choose instead, fill in the blank. And then repeat the idea for the day and let it take the place of what you thought. Beyond such special applications of each day's idea, we will add but a few formal expressions or specific thoughts to aid in practicing. Instead, we give these times to quiet, times of quiet, rather. Instead, we give these times of quiet to the teacher who instructs in quiet, speaks of peace, and gives our thoughts whatever meaning they may have. To him, I offer this review for you. I place you in his charge and let him teach you what to do and say and think each time you turn to him. He will not fail to be available to you each time you call to him to help you. Let us offer him the whole review we begin now, and let us also not forget to whom it has been given as we practice day by day, advancing toward the goal he set for us, allowing him to teach us how to go, and trusting him completely for the way each practice period can best become a loving gift of freedom to the world. 
Well, I am super excited. So um, that's the introduction. I'll go ahead and close this down and then we'll start with the first lesson of review. Much love and namaste.